can you say photobiomodulation three times fast? I sure can't. But I have a device, as you can see on my head and on my vagus nerve, that is meant to do this very thing, photobiomodulation. Not a scientist, but I'm interested in science. And I would love to share how I came across this tool and how I plan on using it. Okay, so what is this device? What is this photo biomodulation device? This device basically takes photo, which is the red light, infrared light, at a, at a level that can penetrate both your brain and your, your skin here. So I have two devices. I have one on my neck and one on my head. And these devices are meant to stimulate the brain as well as the vagus nerve here. And the brain through the nodes on my head as well as the um, light sensors that are also placed in my nostrils here. So why do I have this device? I actually bought this particular device to support my parent who is currently suffering from dementia. And I, like many caregivers, was looking for just another tool to support quality of life and extending the quality of life for my parent. And as I was doing that, I uh, was researching and thought, oh, well, you know, if, it, if it's potentially helpful uh, for brain and memory, well, why don't I give it a try as well? And so as I was doing some research, I found that it's great to potentially boost moods and supporting, um, you know, challenges with depression and anxiety, as well as through the vagus stimulation, help with overall um stress reduction. But what I found even more interesting and where I plan to study myself along this journey is how this tool may impact some of the work that I'm doing in leadership development. Um, as a leadership development coach and practitioner, I often talk to clients and groups about self-regulation, how we manage, how we show up to have positive impact um, on our on our teams and on our organizations. And as any leader knows, it begins with the ability to manage and lead oneself through self-discipline, the practices, through self-reflection, and a constant drive to improve in whatever context that we're in. And so this led me to really understanding what are some of those common stress triggers in the workplace? And hey, can this be a potential device that supports um, a leader's many tools in regulating their stressors and the stress triggers? So what I plan to do as a leader, measure and manage how my stress responses are showing up on a day-to-day -day basis. I plan to wear this device, recommend it six days a week, and I'm going to track my outcomes. I'm going to notice um, what, if anything, is different in how I respond, notice and respond to stress. I'll track it over three months and we'll come back here and share. This is Sherry Hilly with Change Insight. Thank you for watching. I would love to hear what questions you have about this device and how I plan to use it. Please share in the comments. Also, I often post topics related to professional development, especially for those in organizations who are searching to find their voice and looking to step into their leadership. Check out my website, changeinsightllc.com and connect with me for more tips and resources on how you can step into your power at work.